How's it going? It was by far the worst uh, one yet. Why was it so bad? Uh, a, because I didn't get to bed very early, so I'm knackered. B, everything hurts. And C, for about three miles, I was trying to meander through grass. It was up to here on a dual carriageway, so quite why we decided that route was good. I don't know. So, no, I didn't really enjoy that. Two hours and 35 minutes later. Lovely. Bonjour. Uh, we're in New St. Eycliffe. Uh, just north of Darlington and um, we've just been doing some fundraising in a Tesco Extra where I managed to uh, persuade them to let us fundraise although that was you know it was much like Big Brother once that happened lots of things had to happen signing in speaking to managers clearing myself with security that sort of thing uh, and it's the busiest place we've been by an absolute mile yet in two and a half hours we raised 25 pounds didn't go brilliantly well um, so yeah, never mind, it's better than nothing. Um, Chris is about to fill some crusty baps, and then I'm uh, heading off towards Toft Hill this afternoon where I hopefully will be meeting up with a reporter and a photographer from the Northern Echo. I like to get my teeth around a crusty bap. After tasting Chris's baps, uh, I remembered that I'd taken a mickey out of Chris repeatedly before he came back about lack of cooking and all that sort of stuff. And actually he's done very well. Dinner last night was beautiful. I've tasted his baps and they're lovely. Uh, which then brought me on to Ian. Uh, Ian's pretty good at cooking a roast apparently, so we'll have to see how he's meeting two veggies. Hello there Mr. Doby, so uh, what are you up to? Well, I've got to run down the A68 North as gracefully as possible because the uh, Northern Echo guy just... Uh, turned up with his camera all ready for me, so yeah, he's going to take some action shots. So hopefully I won't look like I did in the uh, Gloucestershire Echo one when it looked like I was kind of walking on air and pooing at the same time. Uh, so yeah, looking for the best possible shots. So see how it goes. Good luck. See you shortly. See you in a bit. We know. Yesterday, we uh, didn't get a chance to fundraise because of the weather and the, the lack of big towns. So uh, Chris, Jenny and uh, Kate and I decided to make a video. Um, we decided to do a remake of a, an old musical from uh, a long while ago called Singing in the Rain, which involved me singing in the rain. Um, and as I sang and danced, uh, I slowly lost items of clothing. Uh, now, I, as you can see from my face, it's a bit embarrassing, and I don't, you know, not really sure I want to put it on the internet, uh, but Chris said, you know, if we could get some people to sponsor me, then would I do it? And I said, okay. So basically, we're looking to get at least 30 people to donate at least one pound, um, and then we will put the video on the internet for you all to see. If we don't get 30 people to donate uh, at least a pound, then it's never going to be seen by anyone other than Chris and I, which would be terrible. Uh, you can donate via the website, uh, www.runwrun.co.uk, or any of the Just Giving sites, but it's best to do it through the website. Uh, and just click on Click to Donate, it's in the top right. So that's top left from your point of view. So here, top right, big blue thing that says Click to Donate. So at least a pound. And then if you get 30 people doing that, then I will put this video of me um, on the internet and I am basically pretty much naked at the end of it uh, so if you know that floats your boat then get your money out we've decided to give you a sneak preview of the video we uh, filmed yesterday uh, about the first minute or so um, but I've decided not to include the bits of me naked because I know what you girls would do you just get to the naked bits pause it and you know you will be all be happy so you get to see all the bits before I take my clothes off so you get some idea of what it would look like but not the naked I'm singing in the rain, just singing in the rain, what a glory. So uh, make sure you donate now to see all the naked footage of me. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's that time again, I'm cooking for Doby. Oh yes, look at the smile on that face, look at it. He's so excited, I've proven myself last night. 
can't go wrong tonight. We are doing pasta bake. Basically, that goes in there, that goes on top with a bit of water, it goes in there for, I don't know, 20 minutes, 25 minutes, then comes out, you, you turn it around with a spoon, you put a bit of cheese on top, goes back in for another 20 minutes, Bob's your auntie. Nice and simple. Whoa. Now I just found out that we don't have uh, a cheese grater, so um, the uh, cheese topping, 200 grams of grated cheese, is going to have to be uh, mashed out of this. I'm thinking I'll just uh, kind of just chop it into lots of bits and pieces. But oh, no, Toby, Toby will never know. A little bit of. Uh, finger squashy. Again normally uh, having a bit more cheese and having it probably grated works better than this but you, you get the idea. And then back she goes in the oven. That just cuts like that and we're good for another 20 minutes. And dinner is served Mr. Doby. Yeah, I'm just falling off my chair. You can't tuck in and uh, Sorry? tuck in and give us oh. your verdict. Good, nicely cooked pasta, good sauce, lovely. Yeah, well done. <laughs> you look very happy, Mr. Doby. I'm not happy. I'm, I'm so tired. I'm really sore. My foot is killing me. But I'm running in a minute, and we'll see you soon. Mr. Doby, you don't appear to be in a camper van at the moment. What's going on? Uh, I'm at the headquarters of the National Policing Improvement Agency, uh, just outside of Tawlor. Uh My mum uh, used to work at Scotland Yard with a guy who's an instructor here, and through various emails, he said we could uh, park the camper here and use facilities. So, just had one of the greatest showers I've ever had in the history of showers, and I'm now uh, about to do my blogs for the last couple of days while you edit the videos. So it's all good. How's your day been? Uh, hard today, hard. Yeah, very sore. But I ran all 10k tonight, which is good. Uh, it's going to hurt me tomorrow, but yeah, it's not bad. Um, didn't do great with the fundraising. Uh, Struggled to get out of bed. But it is, right? It's been really a good finish. Uh, nice facilities here, nice quiet night's sleep. Uh, we were supposed to be in bed in four minutes' time, that's not going to happen. Uh, when I say we're supposed to be in bed, obviously separately. Um, and that's about it, really. Looking forward to tomorrow? Uh, not really. 